Hello everyone. I'm going to show you another uh, heart chain. This is a completely different one than I've shown before. There, and there's still some I haven't shown tutorials of, so we'll work through them slowly. What I've got is a poly satin ribbon, or you could use acetate, or really any kind of ribbon, but I'm going to show you on these first. Uh, this is a one and a quarter width, and then these are the seven eighth inch, and I've cut them at six inches long. And I've already put those together. So I just need two of the same color. And you can, I double these up, but you don't have to do that. I've done it both ways. I just want to show you another variation. So I'm going to take the black on bottom, just put these together. And then I'm going to put the black and then the orange. So it those all meet right there. So you just want to go like that. And then I'm going to staple those. And then I'm going to go to this side. Meet them together. And as you can see, I went a little bit long on that black. I just want to make sure that I've got them. You can make them all completely st straight. And then I can trim that off. Just give it a staple. Now I'm gonna start at the bottom. And you can do this with a little dab of hot glue or another staple. Just be careful hot gluing because it does shrink the ribbons up and it will curl them. I like to hot glue whatever I am placing on the ribbon, but since I'm doing ribbon on ribbon, it, you know, I guess this one would probably be safer and on the staple. You don't have to staple these to begin with. It's just easier that way to make sure they stay in place. So I'm going to go towards the bottom and I'm just going to give that another staple and I think I'll put it this way. Now, I want to staple that one like that, make it look like a heart. And you do run into this, I don't know if you can see what's happening as that's curling with these thin ribbons and I've done this on wired ribbons and it works better. So I'm just going to find a spot where it's not curling too much. Okay. I see it's curled a little bit but it's not bad. And this one I already did. And this one I wanted to go ahead and do the black on top just to give it a little variation. Again, I'm just placing those on top like that, giving that a staple. Now I'll show you just adding a little bit of hot glue right on that staple. Give it just a second so it's not so hot. I'll place it about right there. And you still, you know, because this is so heavy compared to this, that's why it's making that ribbon do kind of a wavy thing. If you only use one ribbon, it's not going to do it as bad. Or if you apply it to a thicker ribbon, you'll have a little bit better outcome too. But it's not bad. I've used them all on Homecoming Mums and it's fine. I'm going to add some embellishments so that'll weigh it down a little bit too. Okay, so this one I already had ready. I just need to staple it. Again, you can staple or hot glue either way it doesn't matter and if I had a ruler on me I'd do that but I'm just gonna do a quick little measurement with my fingers and then find where I want it okay there you see 
how cute that is. It's like a little 3D ribbon chain. Now I've got a bunch of different things I can embellish it with. I've got some glitter ribbons here. They're just thin ribbons that are glittery on one side. And I cut them just so they're perfect right here at the ends. These are like ribbons you find in seasonal times, like Halloween, Christmas. So what I'll do, and I cut six, I cut, I cut three of each, so I could do three like this, all the way up, or I could do black there and silver there, or you could just go over them with, like this, I've got different kinds of uh, diamond mesh, and I've already cut them to size. This one's black with silver. This is the flower one. This is the traditional ones right here. And then I also have these gemstones or rhinestones in different colors. I've got silver, and orange, and I also have black ones. I found these at Halloween. They work great with these school colors. So you can just simply put those there. Or you can do the glitter like I was showing. And I just want to hot glue, and I always want to hot glue what I'm gluing to the ribbon. Because it'll give it a chance to cool down just slightly. So I'm just going to put that kind of right in the area so I cover all that up. And I'm going to do black. You can do any color combination you want. So I'm going to do black on the inside, I think. Now if you, there is a way to make the inner heart smaller. You can cut it a little bit shorter and then you'd have to staple them one at a time, but it'll give it even more of 3D effect. You'll have a smaller one on the inside. And I'll probably show that on a later video. I'm gonna show different ways how to do this. And you can see this is already just adding so much to it. It just takes little touches like this to really step up your braids and your mom's. Okay. So now I can go ahead and go back over these and I can put that on there. Can do that one on the inside and I like to stick with the same pattern so like if I did the black on top of all the black and then maybe the silver on top of all the silver or I can just do silver on silver there or swap those and do the silver and then the black on top of there or my rhinestones in the middle like that you could do black on black, or again, you could do black on top of silver and silver on top of black. There's so many choices. I also have this one that's like little squares, so I could do that in the middle, like this, or again on top of the black. It just it'll just make it pop that makes such a difference and you know you see this stone that I accidentally placed there you can put the little gemstones in between like that leave it like that so there's just so many different combinations of things you can do to make it just really blingy or personalize it just just to make it extra I just like to go the extra step. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.